Hey guys, it's Anne Crafty Kimchi. Welcome back to my channel. I am back with a tutorial. So I'd shown these shaker library pockets on my Instagram and I totally forgot how to create these. So I sat for 20 minutes and I thought at this time I wrote it down. I thought I'd come on and share how I put these together and they're super fun. And with the new garden party collection, I thought these would be such a fun little accent piece um and these are full shakers uh full acetate shakers that i have made and i honestly can't wait to decorate these they're so fun you can put an eyelet on top some charms and dangles and put fun little goodies inside and these would make a great embellishment or a fun way to send some goodies to your pals so stay tuned for the tutorial i'll start off with the paper version and then I'll do the acetate next okay you guys so we're gonna start off with the deco paper shaker first and you're gonna need a, a piece of double-sided paper if you don't have one you can just uh, t tape or glue a single-sided sheet paper and make it a double-sided sheet I cut this paper and this is seven by three and a half and I'll leave me measurements in the description box just in case so this is a seven by three and a half and I also cut a corresponding sheet of acetate with the same measurements but I cut the acetate a smidge bigger than the um than the paper when you add sequins and you fold it tends to get a little bit tight so I like to give it a little bit of wiggle room and I can always trim around the acetate um, rather than going a little too short and there's not enough acetate to cover when I'm sewing so we are going to start off with the score and I want this to be the outside and this to be the inside so I am going to score at two and a half so I'm just gonna go down two and a half. Okay, and there's my fold. And I'm just gonna just make sure this is nice and tight. And that's the beginning of the pocket. And I'm gonna do the same with my acetate. It just makes it for a cleaner line when everything is already pre-done. there you go so you could see there's a little bit of room on the edges and we are going to take this to the sewing machine before sewing I actually do like to round the corners I like my corners to be a little bit on the round side so I do take my we are memory keepers crop a dial corner chomper and I will uh, just do it at the quarter and I only do it on the top just to keep it a little round. I don't know, I just don't like this the rough edges of the square. Just take the acetate and the paper at the same time and just chomp away. So that's all done for you and then I'll start the sewing. Okay you guys, so we're at the sewing machine and I've basically taken the paper and just clipped added these Dollar Tree clips just to ensure that there's less moving of the acetate and I'm gonna sew the bottom first. And then I'm gonna start stitching down. this out and since there's a little opening I'm gonna add my sequence in here and I am going to 
start to add my sequence in the back as well. So this is just the beginning of the pocket. I actually don't take out the thread. I just leave it kind of hanging and then I'll stick it back in and cut all the loose ends. I'm just gonna cut this one though. Okay. So I have my little sequence mix here without getting it a big mess. Okay, a fun little mix right in there. And now I'm going to sew up and then I'm going to just do the last part for the back. Okay. I'm going to lift this up again pull this out and then insert the sequence for the back. I'm just going to close this off. And then I just trim off the strings. Okay, you guys, so we're going to get started on the full acetate shaker and this is just using some fun sequins and some acetate and I will not be including the stitching part for this one you can see that in the previous clip but I will give you the measurements and how I put this together so I have my Martha Stewart scoreboard I have a sheet of 12 by 12 acetate and I will just be scoring this right smack dab in the middle at the six inch line and then we're going to trim once I fold that and then I'm just going to fold this in half I'm just going to use my bone folder okay nice and crisp okay and then I'm going to take my guillotine cutter now I'm sorry this is so big but I love my tonic 12 by 12 by 12 guillotine cutter it's a little bit bigger than 12 by 12 but this thing is massive but I love guillotine cutters in general anyways let's get to this so I'm gonna cut this at the seven inch mark just press this down save this for another another project and then I'm gonna cut at three and a half Three and a half. So, and it's gonna look like this. So we're gonna cut our folded acetate sheet at seven by three and a half, and I'm gonna do the score line and start stitching this. Okay, just like we did with the paper version, we are gonna score at the two and a half line. Okay, and then I am just going to fold this so it does make my life a lot easier when I start the stitch process. And there we go. And that's the beginning of the pocket. I'll be back once I put sequins and finish sewing. Okay, you guys, so here is the finished product. Honestly, I think this is such a fun little way to send some goodies to your pals. I will be likely punching a hole with an eyelet, decorating the front, and sending this off as happy mail. I think it's a fun embellishment. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I hope you recreate them and then tag me. Um, for this one, I also did use some of those clear stickers. I think they just look so pretty on the acetate. So yeah, um, I hope you were inspired by my tutorial and 
I will be back with the project share. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.